PlayStation has finally responded. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. We'll not be moving forward. So in recent news of Helldivers 2 kind of drama that's going on right now between Arrowhead Studios, CEOs, and Sony, and we're kind of just the gamers that are in the middle of it, Sony decided to basically pull back on their statement saying that you need to have PSN network linked to your Steam account in order to play on Helldivers 2. So there was an issue launching Helldivers 2 right out the gate and the CEO says the issue was the fact that you had to link your PSN accounts to your Steam accounts. I am not blameless in all of this. It was my decision to disable account linking at launch so that players could play the game. They were given three months because we had three months of no disruptions on the link side of stuff between PSN and Steam. No, we hadn't heard anything about it, neither from Sony or Helldivers CEOs. So then... All of a sudden, three months later, we have this issue. All new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. So Sony gave them time, and they did not fulfill on their contract. We knew about it six months before launch that it would be mandatory for online PlayStation titles. Without Palstat uh, disabling the mandatory linking hours after launch, everyone who couldn't create a PSN account would have refunded. So in a way, this is 100% his fault. One comment he said, had we known that you had to have a PSN account as, as soon as the game came out, we wouldn't have gotten the game. Hence is why everybody's refunding it. Why people from other countries also refunding it because they can't get their PSN accounts and they have to have a whole console. Sony doesn't allow Ukraine players to register PlayStation accounts without buying a PS4 or PS5, basically locking them out of hell that what? You can see where this is the issue. Both sides of the party knew, hey, put the PSN account links. You guys have six months to do it. You still don't have the time? All right, we'll give you three more months, right? So that's good on Sony's part. And I imagine Sony was staying quiet because they were waiting for Arrowhead to figure it out because they were giving Arrowhead time. It seems like Arrowhead did not want the PSN links because they just wanted to make this game kind of their own thing. So it seems like they breached contract. It's like basically you go into a mechanic and you tell the mechanic, hey, um, I'm giving you six days to fix the car. I'll be back to check up on it on so-and-so day. And they're like, okay, that's fine. You come in on the sixth day. The mechanic says, oh, hi. So we have an issue with the Bluetooth. We're not going to be able to, you know, play the Bluetooth until we get the software running. We need three more days. The car is going to work fine, though. You're like, okay, I'll give you three more days. At the end of the three days, the mechanic just decides, hey, we're just not going to do it. And that's pretty much Arrowhead Studios. Wouldn't you be upset? I imagine Sony didn't deal with this situation as bad as it could have been. Sony has backed down from requiring PSN to play Helldivers 2. And I am honestly shocked they did this this quickly. Because one of the countries that got involved with this situation was Ukraine. And Ukraine is definitely backed by the rainbow Nazis and the Twitter mob. And that's generally what Sony's gamers are. So you don't want to upset your bread and butter, right? I'm going to be real with you. There's a couple of geopolitical things you don't want to touch on the internet right now sony treating people in ukraine like shit right now that's not the play i understand twitter and this is probably going to be the worst possible thing that sony can go through this email is like a nuclear bomb so this is why i'm saying it's a preemptive victory for us to be like ah yeah, so we definitely got one over on Sony. While we did win, and I'm very glad that gamers are able to, to get their, you know, games back and whatnot and play. I don't think it's over simply because Sony got shafted. There was a deal made, and, and Sony was basically shafted at the end of the deal. You shafted the big dog. Don't sit there expecting the big dog not to do anything, right? Not only did you mess with the big dog, you tried to incentively get the big dog's money, right? The players that played the game. Try to get the big dog's money to work against it. So you basically said, yeah, we're, we're going to try to get the players to, you know, talk against Sony. Players making their displeasure known through reviews, refunds, etc. gives us more... Po Bro, there's no way that you can say this. There's no way you can say, downvote the game so Sony lets us do what we want. Bro, this guy, oh my god, this guy's about to get cooked. Imagine someone smacking you in the face, smiling, and saying, have a good day. In the best case scenario... This is going to cause just a little bit of headache, and that's it. We have, we, we're done with it. In the worst case scenario, there might be a lot more issues going on. And you might have a whole cancellation of Helldivers 2, or it's just set to a different management system. Now, Helldivers 2 
that's not your game because these people have been known to say broke stuff. Like most of the CEOs that were managing the Twitter, they're for Helldivers moderation. They have flags and, and the whole pronoun thing in their bios. If you're on the side of free speech, Helldivers 2 is not your game. I'm sorry. Uh, Helldivers community manager uh, Misty OW, she deleted her account. Oh my god. Every community manager for Helldivers seems to go unprotected. Uh, community managers should not run and hide when their game is in crisis management. Helldivers moderator Purple Squidgen falsely proclaims that I have sexually assaulted many people. Falsely claims that I sent people to attack their CMs and their families. Currently banning anyone who defends me. Also, I'm not far right. I'm actually up to center. So this is a person here who is a Helldivers 2 moderator. A few weeks ago, I made a video extolling the virtues of Helldivers 2's decision to ban both sides of the political divide, as they were only banning, and this is a very left-wing woman from the fact that we can see here. This is her profile. LGBT flag, of course, free Palestine and trans rights. So when she says, Races, homophobes, bigots, etc. What she means is everything and everyone who disagrees with her. You're gonna be fighting, not just for your game, but a lot of it is gonna be for these same people that love to screw you over any day of the week. And now they're using you against Sony, another, like, another woke company. And you're pretty much fighting a battle for them. And for me, that doesn't set right. But you're, you know, everybody's got the free speech, whatever. You do you. That's all I gotta say on that. I wish I will. Good luck. Keep gaming.